right guys so it's an indoor video it's like 95 degrees right now but I went and bought Weber's Falls sweet corn I mean why not buy your hometown favorite here and I bought a whole bushel in either can or freeze off the cob half of it the part of the I don't know some's gonna be on the cob though and we're probably gonna cook some for dinner but before I get going on this I'm going to tell you guys thank you for supporting us if you could do us a huge favor and hit subscribe and the thumbs up I would so appreciate it share us with your friends if you feel like it we also are on Facebook and on Instagram all right so I uh, I've always had sweet corn Weber's Falls is known for this stuff right here sweet corn and it's beautiful today I'm gonna show you how to put some up if you want to if you want to do it your own way more power to you honey but we're going to see how I process things so, let's go ahead and get started guys and if you stay tuned to the very end I will show you something amazing that happened this week that I have not told anyone except you know the one person who it really matters <laughs> so thank you guys and uh, sit back I hope you enjoy and one more thing before I get started thank you to whoever sent two pairs of moccasins to Haston we received them in the mail and I has no return or note or anything with them so he got two new pairs of moccasins thank you guys whoever decided to send those we really appreciate it okay so the first thing I'm gonna do which this is the easiest way to do it is we're gonna cut the end off make sure you got a good stout sharp knife and then we're gonna cut like this end has some bad stuff on it so we'll make sure we cut all of the bad stuff off and then you can put it up like that and it keeps well with the husk on it or you can shuck it and cut the ends off but typically this is how we do it to save in the freezer uh, as whole and then you don't have to blanch it or anything and you can even cut it in half again which I'm probably going to do oh, you got two more manageable pieces of corn there also thank you to Christy that I go to church with she's the one who sells this along with a million other people but I would rather buy it from somebody I know I bought it off of Christy so thank you Christy probably putting it up I'm going to put six halves which would be three whole ears in a bag like I said this is half a bushel so I'm not sure how much I'm going to put up oh I've got a tough spot in it I'm not sure how much I'm going to put up um, this this method but I'll try and do some of the bigger ears. And then if you have pieces that, of husk that just fall off, just throw them out. You don't need them anyway. Alright guys, so that is a half a bushel of corn. I cut the ends off and I cut them in half. I peeled the shucks that were kind of that one I could pull off too. And 
and that's our mess. Wyatt is going to use all of this to bait pigs to a camera. So that's awesome. Just thought I'd show you guys this is what the corn looks like. I shucked this one, but this is what Weber's Falls is known for. Bicolored sweet corn, and you can eat it just as it is, not even cook it, and it's super sweet. It's like candy. Okay, for this I'm using, I have some smooth mouth half pint jars, or smooth jars, excuse me. Um, I don't know how I ended up with half pints. I don't do jams and jellies. So I'm going to add about a dash. At all. It says it's a dash. Let me zoom in. Alright, so I don't like to blanch things. I've got the sweet corn. I've got most of the silks ripped off of it. But you'll take a sharp knife and cut about three quarters of the way through the kernel. All the way to the bottom. And if you do it in a flat pan like this, it saves you a lot of time. But while you're doing this, you want to make sure you have a pot of water boiling because you'll need it to pack your jars. I got a little too much on that one. give them, pack them all together, we've got a few rows, and we're going to, never done them in a half pint jar before, so I'm not quite sure how much I need to put in here. I do know you will want a, some sort of water scoop for your hot water, but I'm going to probably do a half cup. We'll see how much corn that packs in there. You'll want one inch of head space and then I have my neat little tool to shake the bubbles out. Hey guys, so my corn is processing. We actually had to run to town. We didn't have to run to town. We ran to town and just got back. So my corn is processing right now. Mia just burped. That was disgusting. But I'm going to wrap the video up now. I will, the next one, you'll get to see the little jars of corn done. And I'm probably going to do some pint jars also. I'm not going to record any of that. But here is what I told you guys to just wait and see. What? I had a surprise for you guys. Um, Miss Mia has a surprise for you guys.
There is four males and four females, and this is the very last litter that our Miss Mia is going to be having. She's going to formally be retired, and she's going to get spayed. But they're full siblings to, like, sis that we kept, and we are super, super excited for all the colors she produced. It gives us good hope for sis and Gus. But that won't happen for a couple more years. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching and supporting us. Thank you for all that you do, the likes, the comments, the thumbs up. Don't forget, you can always share us with your friends. We would appreciate it because my biggest goal has become a monetized channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will see you soon. God bless.